Hi everybody. First of all, thank you for all the appreciation that you've expressed in your comments to all the viewers all, and my subscribers. Um, here is a simple, um, simple, uh, simple drive basically, which will, which is intended to help you for the road test that might be coming up. So um, <clears throat> first of, I mean, uh, presuming you have an idea on how to drive and how to start the car. Um, some of the things that you need to keep in mind is uh, are, are as follows first off like your mind your state of mind try and try and keep your um, mind in a state wherein you are uh, quite quiet like uh, just uh, avoid being uh, uh, you know tensed and worried and all uh, worked up so just try to cool, uh, bring your mind to a to a standstill, like like you know, in a cool state of mind. And uh, this is this is impromptu video, so I might be looking for words and proper phrases in in, in order to convey my uh, thought accurately. So uh, just try to keep your mind at rest. I mean, completely cool down. Don't be. I mean, don't be too too worried about like what if I don't pass this road test. Don't don't worry about that. Uh, because when you worry half of your mind is occupied in in that worry in that tension so you're not the, you're not able to pay a complete attention to to your driving to the road test that you're in so pay complete attention to what you see on the on this on the road on uh, the signs if it is a 20 uh, if the speed limit is 20 just make sure that you are at 20 miles per hour uh, um, you know and um, and then uh, just be completely calm and completely quiet uh, like you know at, at mind and um, if if it's orange just don't rush and you know just the moment you see orange just just be completely you know uh, at ease and just l drop the thought that you want to make it through before the orange becomes red don't do that at least while I mean, during the road test and 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 pay attention when the tur light turns green so that no one behind you uh, kind of honks at you um, and uh, pay good attention at the speed limits um, um, 35 is what is usually everywhere and sometimes you may have uh, jaywalkers maybe like pedestrians crossing the street not at where there are no pedestrian uh, where there is no pedestrian crossing but uh, uh, be considerate and uh, slow down if you happen to see that and um, uh, try to stop before the intersection when you see an orange light or um, if there is a traffic jam and uh, you're not sure if you will make it make it through the inter intersection just not don't leave the, the the just don't get into the intersection so um, try to be slow and cautious when there is traffic in case there is traffic and um, uh, when the traffic light is just turning red before the intersection and um, <clears throat> and uh, when there are stop signs uh, there are a couple of stop signs I'm going to come across um, I mean my friend is recording here thanks to my friend for, <laughs> for all his help um, so there are a couple of stop signs that are coming up that I wanted to show how exactly to stop at a stop sign uh, even when no one is there and I, I know everybody knows this but somehow sometimes uh, especially during a road test um, we still get a, 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 a negative mark on for not stopping at the stop sign you know, that's like uh, very strange sometimes when we hear that so um, just keep when you're driving on a straight road um, it would be most probably it will be like a residential area where we'll, where the inspector might take you for a test uh, for a, for the road test. Um, so it would be either 25 either 35 miles per hour speed limit or it would be 25. So just keep a check on uh, your uh, speed limits and um, keep safe distance between the, the car in the front of you and your car so that uh, that gives a, a sense of safety i mean that gives a message to the instructor that you are actually being very careful and 
you are a safe driver and which you want to be so here is a road here is a stop um, red light um, now here on this red light I'm not sure if you'll be able to see but um, um, there is a little box in the center of the two square or two red lights and that box when it's when it's on it says no turn on red so pay special attention to signs like no turn on red right now it the the, the sign is off so that's why everybody is actually making a right on this red and um, making a right on the red is is allowed you know in the state of Ohio um, and um, so that the little box in the center it actually says no turn on red but right now um, it was turned off so people were actually going right and um, try to be in the center of the lane that you're driving sometimes um, you know some uh, are sometimes we lose 100% um, concentration or focus on the driving maybe and um, we try to tend to go to the right of the lane or the left of the lane and we might touch the yellow line or the white line so here is a situation wherein it is green and I'm making a left so uh, I just have to make I just have to make sure that uh, I have enough room to make the left turn so like in this case this car was kind of slow so um, so it was safe for me I was just waiting for that car to go and it was safe for me and it was um, green though it's slightly turned though it turned orange this is a stop sign right now here I stop take a breather and go like just take one breath and go whenever it is at the stop sign you're going just one breath is, is fine like you know you know, we count a couple seconds or or three seconds maybe but just stop I mean and as you of course you have to make sure that there's no one else uh, waiting at the stoplight uh, um, for his turn or her turn to go uh, sometimes people stop the moment they see you come in at a three-way stop or a four-way stop uh, the moment they see you coming they'll just stop before you reach your stop uh, stop uh, point um, and then it's their turn to go I mean if they're on your right but uh, if you don't stop then you're kind of violating the rule so uh, just stop completely uh, full brakes on and um, um, take a breather like take one breath you know count it and uh, now here I'm making a left turn when there is no traffic when there's no stop sign or anything so all I have to make sure all I have to be aware of is that there's no oncoming traffic and uh, and I don't have to worry about the traffic behind me because I'm making a left turn where there is no traffic light and there is no stop sign. So I just have to make sure that the oncoming there's no oncoming traffic and um, when it is safe to make the turn. Uh, it's very important to keep um, a no, make note of uh, signs like this that says a stop sign ahead. So especially um, when you're on a 35. Um, miles per hour speed limit and suddenly you're coming to 25 or a stop sign so that's a stop sign I take a breather and you can look of course you can look on either sides um, and, and of course you know there's no one but just still stop completely and take a breath and then move on and um, pay special attention to the to the speed limit and your speed limit that is the only come to think of it when it comes to a road test or driving speed limit is the only thing that you have to be uh, concerned of um, you know 50% of your attention should be I mean like 25% of your attention should be at the speed limit and um, rest on your driving and uh, the distance between uh, now there's a car coming in the front but I have the way of right so I don't have to wait when I'm making a right turn and there's another car trying to take the same road that I'm trying to take it's my way of right it's my um, uh, my right to make the right turn first and um, but when you're making a left turn you have to let the oncoming traffic go first and then you can go then you can make that left turn that you were intending to so hope you like the video um, hope I was able to convey most of her messages. Uh, let's do a small thing. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I mean, of course, please, you're welcome to uh, leave your comments in the 
at the bottom of the video. But uh, in case you have a specific question, do mention in your comments and I'll try to address that and possibly with a demo ride like I did today. So all the best for your road test and all the other tests that you have to go for. All the best. Bye.